All right, today I want to talk about progress instead of perfection. And this is a common theme that not always, but oftentimes you're going to see in someone who has an eating disorder, always seeking perfection, which sometimes will land them with an eating disorder. Not always, but oftentimes that personality trait of perfectionism definitely was for me. And then, so that's in their eating disorder. They obtain um, this level of perfection. So it becomes perfect at eating or the right way of eating or whatever that is. Perfect at their movement or their exercise. Perfect getting all these things that become compulsions in order to maintain this idea of perfection in your head. Um, and then you enter into recovery when you decide you want to recover. And then you have that same mentality in recovery of perfection. So anytime, at least for me, if someone tells me I have to be perfect, I kind of clam up and, and like have a mental block. Like that's a lot of pressure to feel like you have to be perfect. So in recovery, if you're approaching recovery the same way that you, um, same attitude you had prior to your eating disorder, same attitude you had in your eating disorder, and now you're trying to recover with that same attitude, um, that may feel like you're feeling defeated each day. You're feeling like you're falling short, feeling like you're not ever doing enough and it's not sustainable. So it makes you feel like, what's the point? I'm never going to be able to do this. Sorry, Hazel's down here playing on the mat. So if you hear baby noises, that's why. We'll see how long I make it before she starts getting too loud. Um, but um, yes, so you don't want to be like, if I'm not perfect, it's not worth it. I'm not going to try. What's the point? Um, and then if you look at somebody who's striving to recover and in their mind, they're imagining what once they're recovered is going to look like, and that's going to be perfection in terms of their life and the way that they live their life. They're going to be perfect at their job and perfect in every relationship and perfect citizen and all these things. Like if you have this idea that you have to be perfect, it's always going to make you feel like you're not enough. You're going to feel inadequate. So specifically in recovery, what does that look like or what does that mean? I hesitate to have to talk about this topic because a lot of times people are like, oh, she's saying I don't have to be perfect. So that means like I can have like, you know, three or four crappy days because I'm not perfect and I need to be kind to myself and compassionate and, and be patient. And, and, and people will take that to the extreme and then find themselves not progressing because they're not trying anymore. So there's a difference between not feeling like you have to be perfect and just not trying. So it's like, to me, recovery is like this perfect balance of having grace and being kind to yourself and compassionate and being patient, understanding that you're not going to be perfect every single second, every single day. And if you are, awesome. But almost always, I haven't seen that be the case. I'm going to grab people here, sorry. Um, and, and realizing that you're also probably not going to be able to achieve perfection so that it's going you're going to have days that feel really really hard or maybe you're going to have days where your actions are all still awesome but mentally you felt like you went through the ringer you felt like oh my gosh that was the most exhausting day mentally to have to fight the eating disorder I'm proud of yourself because you did it but also like still upset that you even had the eating disorder thoughts and people will beat themselves up over that and say like yeah, I went through the motions and I did it, but like, I don't really feel like I'm progressing because I'm still having the thoughts. And it's like, well, the thoughts don't go away right, like right away, that very first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Gosh, it takes a long time for the thoughts to go away, but it doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. So um, this message today is basically just try to focus on the things that you can control in your recovery. That's the first step. What are the things that you can control in your recovery? Second step how am I going to accomplish these goals? And then be able to recognize when you fall short that, okay, something I did in this day kept me from accomplishing my goal and now I need to come up with a game plan as to how I'm gonna fix that tomorrow. So to me, that's that nice balance of giving yourself grace and not being like, well, I screwed up today and my recovery's over and I'm not gonna be able to do it. Um, and, and, and not feeling like you have to be perfect. So anyways, um, I've seen this many times with clients and the clients that are the most successful, honestly, are the ones that are like, yeah, I screwed up today. I ate lunch an hour later than I was supposed to. And my alarm went off and, um, 
I hate that I did that because I know my goal is to like not let myself go past a certain amount of time without eating and delaying and trying to push back my meals. I know that's not what I'm trying to do, so I'm gonna fix that tomorrow. I'm committed and I'm gonna change that. And maybe the next day, instead of waiting for their timer to go off, if they you know are struggling with eating early enough in the day, then they're gonna eat 30 minutes before their timer goes off or something tangible, some kind of goal that's gonna help you to continue to progress instead of feeling like you have to be perfect all the time. So hopefully this message um, you can relate to. I know that for me in my recovery, I very much, and again, I know that's kind of a stereotype to say that people with eating disorders are perfectionists, but I am openly admitting I was very much a perfectionist um, growing up as a kid in school and sports, very much. And I feel like with that genetic component to have an eating disorder, in addition to that personality trait that I have, was a recipe perfect storm for a raging eating disorder. Um, and so when I went into recovery, I, I had to constantly remind myself, like, this isn't a race. This isn't, um, can I like, you know, get little gold stars on a chart that I made for myself. This isn't about being perfect. This is a journey. This is a process. I'm learning as I go, what works, what doesn't work. Um, and I'm taking the things that work and I'm changing the things that aren't working. And so it's a very much a work in progress. So the theme here is progress over perfection. All right, have a good day.